guys, welcome to Tar Story 7. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the Spider-Man Homecoming Marvel's Vulture. So, um, yeah, it looks really cool. I like the packaging. Uh, we got the Spider logo, and uh, we have an awesome image of Spider-Man, and we got Spider-Man Homecoming. Pretty much basic stuff all across the other uh, figures in this wave. Uh, we have a nice bio. We got a queer image, kind of like the figure, and the other figures available in the line. So let's open this thing up. Uh, here's the vulture. I want to give a quick look at him without his wings off, uh, without his wings on. So um, I love the helmet. Uh, it's got a nice green visor. Looks really cool all around. I like that they're making the vulture look more like a pilot. And um, you know, they've talked about the vulture as a regular guy who becomes like a supervillain. And just the way they're describing him, it sounds like he might be one of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's best villains. I love the coat, kind of like design the fur. It just looks really cool all around. And uh, he's got this cool fighter jacket, and uh, same with his fist. And uh, he's got the cool kind of like, uh, kind of reminds me of a parachute, but it's like for his, you know, uh, fight hardness, uh, hardness. So that's cool. Harness. Sorry about that. Uh, his butt looks neat as well. I like the green pants. They look cool. And I love these claws on the feet, to be honest. They look really kind of cool, threatening. And um, yeah, so that's really neat. And uh, let's move on with the wings. Assembling the wings, um, they're actually like not together. Uh, as you can see, uh, they have some green detailing. I like that, to be honest. And I like the blue here. Um, about they're the same, and you pretty much, supposedly, if this works right, you're going to snap these two into place, and then snap them onto the character's back. So, uh, yeah. And uh, we will do that just like this. So, um, as you can see, it works pretty easily, pretty simple. Uh, the wings are not articulate, but they're not really able to, so I understand that. On the back, you can see what it looks like. Uh, they're pretty big, you know, and I think they look really cool, to be honest. So, um, yeah, they make the vulture look more menacing, more threatening. And uh, here's just like him beside Spider-Man and Spider-Man in his homemade suit. Looks really cool. And um, as for articulation, there is a free 60 at the head. He's ball jointed, so it can move up and down. Looks pretty cool. Uh, free 60 at the arms, a little bit hindered by the wings, but they work without the wings. Uh, the arms can swing out. Uh, there is no bendability at the elbow or articulation at the elbow. And the legs swing out. And no bendability at the knee either, which is kind of weird as uh, the other figures in the line can do that. It's that vulture. Uh, but it might have been a production thing. I don't know. Uh, either way, it's still really cool. And I definitely like this guy. Thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.